My name is Rowan. And my name is Rishi. And we're here to present our app, Smart, Smart Sketch. Prioritize, organize, optimize. To start our presentation, we have a short, brief video which, you, which we hope you enjoy. Off with a clean slate all over again. 
and now we would like to talk about uh, some of the coding that uh, goes into the app. Okay. So. Okay. So, um, the first thing I wanted to show within the code was the sort function right here, or not sort function, the um, data behind the add task page. So. Here it says submit when submit button that clicks. So when the user clicks the submit button, taking information from the um, item name text box, the date picker, the priority text box, and the time text box. It then formats all this information together right here. And there's two. One's an unformatted version, one's formatted version. Formatted version comes under the task label, and in the for in the formatted version, no, the formatted version goes to screen three and in the list view with the date, semicolon, and everything. That's, it's easier to read that way. It has slashes in the date and everything. Unformatted version is just a long number, and that way it's easier for the program to read and see which number is higher and lower, so it can, go, or it can um, prioritize it. The next thing we want to show you was the notifiers. So basically, if the user makes an error on our application, our application will automatically notify you immediately saying that you made an error. So let's talk about priority level. If a user puts a priority level that's less than one or greater than five, then our application will immediately notify you saying that you can only put the priority level one, two, three, four, and five. This also pertains to the date, the amount of characters you can put in the text box, and uh, the time, the amount of, and the number of hours uh, an assignment can take. And also, if you did not add information onto our application that is required, we will, the application will immediately send you a notification saying you need to put the information that's required. Yeah. Um, and the last thing that I'm going to show you about the code is the sort, the actual sort function. So this is a bubble sort, meaning when there's two tasks, it'll find ways in which the lower task can cross the first one, and it'll keep going like that until it's finalized. So the first thing it looks at is the date. If, let's say one has a close, the lower one that you entered has a closer date, it'll move that on top. Same date, and it'll look at priority, then it'll look at time, and then it'll look at the, no, then it'll look at priority, then it'll look at time. And it's finalized. If everything is the same, it's just two assignments, everything is the same except for the name, it'll alphabetize it. Yeah. Um, so next. that was the code behind our app. Now we'll go back to our presentation and talk about, um, Comparisons between different to our application with the Apple Reminder app. Okay, so our app is similar to Apple Reminders in some ways, but it's actually very different. And personally, we feel that it's better designed for students. Yeah, it's much better designed for students because the Apple Reminder app might. Okay, so the Apple Reminder app gives you uh, makes you put a due date for any task, but it tells you it reminds you when the task is due on that day. So when you have a homework assignment on that day, it'll tell you on that day and you don't have any time to do it. But our um, app helps you create a schedule so you can look at it day by day, looking at what assignments you have to do throughout the week or throughout the month or whatever. But the main difference, what makes it way better than the Apple Reminders, is the sort function. So um, the items that you enter, as I showed you in the demo, are sorted into the order that you should do them to um, save the max amount of time. And this is important when you're getting, when you have lots of work to do, right? So, um, yeah, you could, so, yeah, that's what's mainly different. And the Apple Reminders does not have that, and instead it has a location, like, well, what's the point of being reminded you of your homework when you reach school on the day to do, right? <coughs> and next, hard work and perseverance. And we face so many challenges while making this app. It's not, it's no joke. We face, we face so many things, it was even hard to, like, do anything at all. <laughs> But it's mostly because we didn't have any background with um, programming prior to this. So it was a lot of guess and check and emphasis on what worked, what did not work, and keep building up like that. So movie data from screen 2 to screen 3, three that was later made possible by the, by the main community. Deleting tasks, we had trouble with that. The sort function uh, was something else we had um, trouble with originally, but we ended up creating a pretty good one. And displaying items in the appropriate format and list view, so as it showed on the this view says like a um, name, semicolon, and all that. That was hard to do because it just kept the unformatted version when you know how to switch it. And then the error handling. So the notifiers you talked about, those are something else that we struggled with. Uh, thank you for listening to our presentation, and we hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Oh, yes.
Perfect. Good wow. job. Thank you. Thank you. got a question. Now, this is just yeah. personal things. Where you've got the priority, and then if they're the same priority, it, it mm -hmm. differentiates by time. the length of time. Yeah. Can you change it? I mean, so yeah, say yeah, say I'm the type of person. If I've got 20 things to do. You want to do the small things? 15 of them are going to be fast. Well, i got to get that done so that I can just focus on the other. Can, can that be modified or is that a... Uh, uh, no, no, that's a default thing because a study show that you should do no, this. <laughs> no, 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 I, 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 we didn't change your behavior. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not arguing with it. Well, with that, yeah, you're probably right, exactly right. <laughs> but me of needing rewards, I need to go along. That would be a future. You thing. should also <laughs> think about, like, so our app is just a suggestion for you to maximize and efficientize right. your time. But you can do whatever you want. <laughs> 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 you know what? I'm making words as I go here. No, no that, that, that's good. Yeah. That, that's so, good. yeah, it's a, that would be a future advancement to make a setting where they can choose what they want. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, very good.